Guys, welcome to my carnivore channel. My name is Matthew. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're returning, I really do appreciate it. I want to thank every person that's joined my channel. I want to thank every person that's put a comment in every comment that you put. Really appreciate it. it. means a lot to me. Day 53, what does it feel like? What does it feel like between day one and day 53? What things have I learned? What things have I realized that I was told in the past that were completely, completely wrong? You know, those aha moments, those epiphany moments, those moments where you're kind of angry, but you're like, why would they do this? You know? So, you know, when I say, why would they do this? Why? Why would the information that I have be so skewed from the truth? So kind of tie, taking a dive, little dive into that. Little, little dive. We'll take a, a deeper dive at a later time. Today, today is my day 53. Day 53. Check in. So where was I when I began? Well, um, you know, the, the one thing that I can tell you is my blood pressure, it was much, much higher, okay? My blood pressure was like 129 over 79. Um, my blood pressure go up. Here it is. I thought for a minute I forgot it, guys. Okay, so today it's running a little high, okay? I'm going to hold it. There it is. I'm going to hold it up there so you can see it. 107 over 69. Not too bad. By the way, the dogs are here. They do want to say hi. They were outside. They were like, hey, Pa, if you're going to do an update which we know you will because you're very consistent and i was just like ah oh, okay and then i was so proud that they said that we're consistent and then my whole world started to come on new I, I gotta tell you when i first got up this morning i watered the plants didn't feel like it you know we're all we're constantly in battle with our minds and and that's really the thing is that it holds us back you know i think uh, to the most part think about it i was like i don't feel like it i don't know <laughs> it's just like I mean, on everything, pretty much, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people don't even mean, I mean, they even allow themselves not to go to work and be like, ah, I'm just going to call it sick. Now, I do not allow myself that option. And, you know, 99% of the time, I do not give in to the inner voice in my head trying to defeat me in the world that we live in. All right. So there I am for the blood pressure, all right? Everybody's like, with, with the weight when I first started off, I was 119. Not a bad weight for somebody that's six foot three. Just not. I'm, I'm pretty big boned. I don't even know if big bones is a word. Kind of broaden the shoulders. But anyways, the point here is, is that today, today, now yesterday I woke up and I was at 212. Well, that's, that's, that's a little bit of weight loss, you know? Not a lot in that period of time, but a lot if you're given... How much that, I mean, I don't want to lose weight. And I'm trying to be eating a lot of protein so I can build the muscle weight while I lose the fat. Yes, an epiphany or not really an epiphany, but I've been able to find out that you do build muscle, uh, you do build muscle weight as the fat rips off of you. I will be an update on day 60. Yeah, even though, you know, it's a little uncomfortable, you know, like going, hey, look at my side. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's like... It's like, I hope nobody's going to make fun of me. You know what I mean? It's just the way that we, everybody is. We're all programmed like that. Unless we act like we're not. You know, we're just self-conscious. Okay, so. All right. So you see the blood pressure. You see. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it was yesterday's waist, 212. Today. Today. <laughs> I came in at 2. I'm going to be very specific with you. 211.4. I was thinking, what the? Why? Why would I say that? Yesterday, do you see what I made? No, many of you didn't see what I made yesterday. You've got to look at what, what, what was made yesterday. That shrimp, that creamy shrimp, the sour cream with that cheese melted into that. Oh, with the butter. Man, mo better butter. I'm going to go over a list of things in just a second. Let's see. We're only at four minutes. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing a pretty good time here. I know a lot of us don't like to watch videos that are real long. I get you, no matter what it is, what the content. Stop looking at me, Ronnie. Okay, so I was eating the shrimp and then the burger, the half a pound burger with that shrimp, with the creaminess, with the sour cream. Oh, whoo, oh, and so many times yesterday, I would take butter, you know, I just bite it off the stick. I know, it sounds disgusting. It's my pat of butter. 
or and it's, not, it's not a pad, that's a stick of butter. I got so many, oh my goodness. When you find butter on sale, if you're thinking about going to the carnivore diet, if you are on the carnivore diet, you know how long butter stays good for, like over a year. So when it's on sale, oh my gosh, you know, buy your 15 blocks, you know, with your with your four or sticks of butter in there, and then just keep buying it. Because it's, it's just phenomenal. If you're gonna put heavy whipping cream in your coffee, you might as well throw some butter in there. It's basically the same thing, and it tastes awesome. I do want to do a video where I'm whisking the heavy cream. Uh, I do need to put more butter in, in my coffee. The way that it makes your head feel so at peace is just absolutely just, you've got to do that. Is it, you know, people, you know, our old programming, we have been hard. We, we've been, oh my gosh, we, we have been so hard. Our hard drive in our head, our supercomputer, we are run on uh, a level um, which is not it's unconscious thinking which, which completely um, dictates a lot of times what we do just by the voices that we hear in our head what can I call it? voices you can call it programming whatever you want to call it same thing let's talk about a couple of those things that kind of okay so where am I at it remembers day 53 so hey uh, <clears throat> I think my dogs want to have a piece of chicken oh, obviously right here Marley come here boy come here come here there you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, I teased him a little bit. But it is what it is. Come here, Brian. Oh, let's see, you're in there. Boy, what in the world is on your face? I mean, that is disgusting, dude. Anyway, so they got a little piece of chicken, didn't they? All right, before, all right, okay, so. Let me talk to you about a couple of other things real quickly and then I'll give them some more chicken. Actually, I might give them chicken while I'm talking to you. Here you go, Brownie. Marley, clearly you're next. Come on over here. Nope. Come over here, Marley. Here you go. There you go. Okay, I teased him more. <laughs> okay. So, have you ever heard this one? You need your fiber. You need your fiber. Now, when you hear that, you're like, oh, I feel good about eating this lettuce. You see... In my opinion, I'm not a doctor. In my opinion, the human was designed primarily by our creator, whoever you believe that to be, that the ideal food that we would consume was going to be animal proteins, period. Why would you say that, <laughs> you ask Matthew? Well, let's put it this way. What reverses type 2 diabetes? What reverses so many diseases? What makes your head calm? What makes you think more clearly? Um, more than that, let's just... Man, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm running down a rabbit hole right now, but the, the point is, is that when it comes to the ideal food, your ideal food, fiber, and they say, you can't just eat meat. Really? I've been doing it for 53 days, guys. So either I'm wrong and my body just works differently than everybody else's, um, or it was a lie. You don't need boxes of bran. You don't need all this lettuce. You don't need the survival food that you just shove in your mouth because there's no meat around that, that, that is, uh, that, that is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> it's, it's, um, you want the most nutritionally dense food you can get. You want something that your body's going to thrive on, that it can heal on. Last night, I slept for like 12 hours. I have more energy than I ever have had. My clarity is crazy. Um, we'll call it my ability to be a man has come back a thousand fold. But the... The medical industry would never, ever suggest uh, that uh, that ailments can be corrected or cured by just increasing the amount of meat and getting rid of. They go with the word balance. They have to for some reason. It's in their little manual thing where they check it. They, you, you, they go balance. They, they, they don't say stop eating grains. They don't say stop eating sugars. They don't say... Stop eating processed foods. It, wasn't it, didn't we happen to notice a huge increase in cancer, you know, in the 60s or 70s? It was in the 60s where 
you know, you have all this processed food coming out and they had to get an industry for it and blah, blah, blah. I feel like I'm repeating some of the stuff I see yesterday, but the point here is, and there's about 10 billion people out there watching YouTube. And of course I'm over exaggerating, but am I? Am I really? I don't know. All right, so anyway, point is, what I've found, i found I feel better. I, I, I cannot think of one way that I do not either feel better or that I feel worse. No. I feel better in every way that I can think of. I cannot think of one thing that's been negative about the experience. Not one. Um, do I go to the bathroom every day? Yes, I do. Is my body consistent? Yes, it is. Do I feel great? The answer is yes. So anyway, I, you know, I, I, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, it's, it is what it is. I, when you look at, when you look at the fact that we can eat other food besides meat, that's in survival mode, guys, survival mode. Uh, and I think our creator designed us for that, to have a very, very long intestine so that if we have to eat berries and nuts and seeds and fruits and legumes and whatever, we can do that to survive until we can actually find some real food, some the highest quality food, which is meat. All right. All right. So butter. Let's talk about butter real quick. My video has gone way too long. I, I've probably gone off on a couple tangents where people have already <laughs> clicked the button. But uh, that's all right. So I'll just keep going. I'll just eat, eat, eat. I'll just keep yarn, yarn and go along. Okay, so butter. Butter. What does butter do? Butter in my mind now is like I have to reprogram my mind. Butter. The more butter I eat, the more weight I lose. The more butter I eat, the, the more satiated I feel. Butter is kind of like that fat that goes into your intestine that coats it. Just kind of like it, back in my old plant-based days, not that long ago, my friends, I would eat avocados and avocados would make you very consistent. If you ate two avocados a day, you're going to be good. Around here, avocados, very, very cheap food. Can you still eat avocados on a carnivore diet? Some do. Am I? No, 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 no. I'm doing, I'm doing complete meat and, and dairy products, animal products, okay? Minimally processed, all right? Um, there are no studies. Dr. Ken Berry points this out. My, mind you, Dr. Ken Berry has tons of information, and because I'm not a doctor and he is, definitely check him out. I think he's a very, very credible source. Um, and he, 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 he talks about there's no study that that's a legit study that it has, it, it just, there isn't, there's just, it, there's no study that says red meat causes cancer, period. Processed meat, maybe. Very, very maybe. Read into that, okay? I do not eat processed foods. When you're talking about red meat, where, when, he's, when he's talking about, and he talks about, now he says, you know, if it's, if it's in comparison to vegetables, <laughs> and, and you're eating hot dogs. Now he's gonna tell you, go ahead and eat your hot dogs. He's gonna say, screw everything else. Um, me personally, you can't get me to eat a hot dog, all right? Because there are studies on the processed meat. It's just crazy. You can get all beef hot dogs, but man, you're talking about some, yeah, if you enjoy them, great. But if you're looking at the cost perspective, I don't know. What about that old thing, the old adage when you're growing up, eat a balanced diet. What was that about? That was, that was about somebody, come here, Brian. Come here, boy. Here you go, Marlon. Here you go. Come here. Come here. Here you go. There you go. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I just give it to you. Brian, come here, boy. There you go. Whoops. There you go. Marley. Come here, Marley. Come here. You got it, boy. There you go. There you go. There you go, Marley. <laughs> I mean, they get a reward, right? <laughs> and it is kind of fun torturing them. So, primarily... Oh, first and foremost, I just want to thank y'all for showing up. If you're here during this point of the meeting, I mean part of the video if you would comment on the video and say can you see marley you can't come here marley come here come here uh marley's hiding all right if you would 
Comment the word doggies, because they are the best. At least I think so. What do you think, Brownie? Do you think you're the best? You probably do. Y'all be good. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I will. Whoo! I slept in late, guys. I slept for 11 hours. So, am I going to have another video up? Probably tonight. It, if I put some ribs on and this thing loads quick enough, not ribs, I'm going to be doing pork chops if I have the time. Y'all be good. Peace out.